Optometry in Ghana, Wikipedia article audio. Optometry is a relatively new field in eye care in Ghana. History Training Newly qualified optometrists Ghana Optometric Association Executives Activities Ministry of Health and Optometrists Challenges Service Delivery Optometry Bill Optometry is a new field in the eye care system of Ghana. The Eye Secretariat of Ghana is the Ghana Ministry of Health agency concerned with eye care in the country. Ghana's first optometrist, Kofa Vimani, is regarded as a key contributor to the development of optometry there. Mani was trained in Nigeria, and returned to practice optometry after his training. He was the main brain behind the setup of the Department of Optometry in University of Cape Coast to offer the Doctor of Optometry program and was also a senior lecturer in the department. He also served as a lecturer in NUST when the program began. The first optometry school in Ghana started in the NUST Department of Physics in 1992. The first class had just five students and was instructed by Mani. It initially offered only postgraduate degrees, but soon also offered bachelor's degrees. In 2004, just as the first batch of optometrists with the bachelor's degrees had graduated, they were enrolled for the two-year Doctor of Optometry program. In 2002, the University of Cape Coast also began a Doctor of Optometry program. Over 80% of Ghanaian optometrists receive their training from the NUST. In 2011, 53 and about 16 students entered NUST and UCC Department of Optometry, respectively. Angela Oamido, one of the first optometrists in Ghana, is the head of Department for Optometry at NUST. There are about 200 optometrists in Ghana. The newly graduated optometrists are inducted into the Ghana Optometric Association so they can do their one-year internship at any of the Ministry of Health hospitals or accredited eye clinics throughout the country. After their internship, they are required to write their qualifying exam which upon passing will allow the optometrist to practice without supervision. For a place to qualify to house new optometrists during their internship, there should be an optometrist or ophthalmologist working at the facility. Some of the places where new optometrists work in Ghana are the Ghana Optometric Association is the country's governing body for the optometry profession. Since 2009 all optometrists wanting to be members have had to write a professional exam. Passing this exam gives the optometrist the certification to practice in Ghana. As of March 2010, Goa had 139 members. Today the group has about 200 members. In 2010 the body and the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology's Faculty of Distance Learning rolled out a two-year program to offer all members of Goa who did not have the Doctor of Optometry degree to enroll for it. The aim of the program is to ensure that by the end of 2012 all optometrists in Ghana will have the OD degree as is required under the Ministry of Health. It is headed by DSP slash Dr. Remy Nink as President of Goa. Dr. Pa Kwesi Fin Hope is the Secretary. The Goa has done a lot since its inception. Apart from regulating the activities of optometrists countrywide, it also looks out for the well-being of its members in ways such as One of the major achievements of Goa was hosting the World Council of Optometry General Delegates meeting in Accra from 6 to April 10, 2005. 
It was the first time the meeting was held in Africa. The Ghana Optometric Association did so in collaboration with the Africa Council of Optometry with sponsorship from Essilor International. It was attended by about 200 delegates from the Council. The Ministry of Health through its hospitals and health facilities is the main provider of eye care services in the country. Over the years it has taken various initiates to train optometrists through the various universities. It is its aim to ensure that there is at least one functioning eye unit in every district of the country. So far the number of facilities is woefully inadequate to serve the needs of those who need such services. The MO is still doing its best to lift the practice of optometry in Ghana. At the 2010 induction ceremony for new optometrist it promised to help regulate the activities of optometrist more the situation would have been far worse if the various eye care facilities of the Christian Health Association of Ghana were not functioning. 35% of Ghana's health service provision is done by CHAG. As and when new district eye centre are created, an optometrist is posted there to attend to the district's eye care needs. It must be stated that to date, the MO is the biggest employer of optometrist in the country and the MO deems with all seriousness the role they play in helping the save the sight of Ghanaians. Lack of eye care facilities as well as funds has greatly limited the work of optometrists in the country. These constraints force the Ghanaian optometrist to work really hard in order to satisfy the needs of his patients. However, because of the training received most optometrists are able to function once the basic instruments are available. Again, the lack of personnel has led to the rise in quacks who parade as eye doctors and treat all manner of eye conditions. This practice is currently going on and is a major problem in eye care delivery in the country. The continual use of herbal preparations by the populace is also worrisome, since many of these preparations have not been certified for use on the eye. As the average Ghanaian becomes more enlightened concerning the eye and its conditions, optometrists would be required to do more too for their patients. The major concerns that eye patients raise are With respect to the above, most optometrists the world over are adapting ICT to help the patient better. With respect to the long wait hours, various electronic medical records are being used. These do away with paper and manual recording of patient data. As such the patient does not need to wait for his or her records before seeing the doctor. EMRs the world over have been shown to reduce doctor-patient interactions by up to three times. Ghanaian optometrists are now turning to the use of EMRs to improve their daily work. Those who are using these EMRs bear witness to this and are continually advocating for the use of EMRs among their colleagues. One of the EMRs in use in Ghana is the personal digital assistant for eye clinics. Concerning patient education, various ICT tools are also being used. They include There is no law regulating the practice of optometry in Ghana. Around 20% of people claiming to be optometrists in Ghana either do not have training in the field or go beyond their scope of operation. A draft optometry bill has been presented to the cabinet, but is yet to be passed. The bill would give the Ghana Optometric Association the authority to regulate the practice of optometry in Ghana. The 37 Military Hospital the Eastern Regional Hospital Koforidua, the Sima District Hospital, Takarati, the Tamale Teaching Hospital Tamale, the Central Regional Hospital, Cape Coast, the Our Lady of Grace Hospital, Bremen Asakuma, the Bishop Akin Memorial I Hospital, Cape Coast, the Volta Regional Hospital, Ho, the Margaret Mark Ward Hospital, Cape Andu, 
the Brong Ehafo Regional Hospital Sunyani, the Ridge Hospital, Accra, the Tima General Hospital, the Kumfo Anakye Teaching Hospital, Kumasi, the Upper East Regional Hospital, Balga, the Upper West Regional Hospital, WA, the Coral Buletin Teaching Hospital, Accra, the Agago Presbyterian Hospital, Agago Asante Akyem. Organizing continuing education programs for optometrists, advocating for better terms of service from the Ministry of Health, partnering international bodies to promote eye care in Ghana. The long wait periods for them to see the eye doctor. One the average it take about two hours for patients to access eye care services in most MO hospitals and clinics, poor patient education practice from doctor to the patient. Television based educational tools that play while patients wait their turn in the waiting area, computer assisted patient educational tools, that serve as a one on one tool for the optometrist during his or her patient education.